Minnesota's Houston County is home to the only bird center in the entire country dedicated to owls. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lordson takes us to the International Owl Center to show us why these unique birds love our state. Autumn in Minnesota. And this time of year, the trees around the town of Houston hold more than just colorful leaves. <laughs> From barred owls to barn owls. The International Owl Center is a sort of school for people who give a hoot about these birds. People always ask, why on earth do you have an International Owl Center in a town of less than a thousand people out in the middle of nowhere? And the answer is it evolved here. Years ago, Houston was looking to put a nature center at the head of the Root River Trail. That's when Executive Director Carla Bloom met Alice. And she had fallen out of her nest when she was three weeks old, permanently injured her elbow, and basically needed to find placement as an education bird. So Carla took Alice to her new home and quickly learned just how curious people are about owls. So I'm going to go through our owl detectives program. 300 people showed up for Alice's hatch day party. Alice is now 23 years old. And things took off from there. Within a few years, we had people flying here from Alabama, California, and New York. And we're like, why are you flying to Houston, Minnesota in early March? That's when we realized there was nobody in North America doing anything like it. We decide to call it a night, and just as you're crawling into your tent, you hear this final call. I've been to raptor centers and other uh, wildlife centers, but never to anything that concentrates on owls. I grew up in a rural atmosphere, so in the evenings I would hear the owls hoot. The Owl Center moved to this location five years ago, and every morning four birds are brought over from their aviary. This is Ruby the Great Horned Owl, and she is six years old. Ruby, Piper, Uhu, and JR are front and center. Each educates visitors. So no ear tufts, nice round head. In their own way. Great horned owls will eat skunks. So they're a very good friend to us because skunks are the biggest carrier of rabies in Minnesota. Most only weigh a few pounds. Plumage makes them look much bigger than they really are. And that takes up the bulk of their head. So it's mostly eyeballs and ears. For many species, Minnesota is the perfect home. Carla and her crew want people to know that rat poisons can hurt these birds. Uh, the poison from it will stay in her system for up to a year. While leaving dead trees up for nesting can help. They're looking to make their visitors wiser, much like the animals they've grown to love. Or empower people to give them uh, the knowledge to make choices in their life that are going to be good for owls and of course then are good for the environment and other wildlife too. In Houston, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. The International Owl Center had to make some changes during COVID, but it is still open for visitors. If you'd like to start planning your trip, just visit WCCO.com links.